Hey everyone, Hex here. Got a fun one today as I'm going to try casting some fairies, copying some spells and duplicating some creatures. So stay tuned. So today's deck has a single theme running throughout, but two ways of benefiting from this. The theme is targeted spells. We're using Ivy Gleeful Spell Thief, a 2 drop 2 one with flying that says when you target a single creature other than Ivy with a spell, you may copy that spell and the copy targets Ivy. So this is a really interesting card when you pair it with targeting spells, which we have a few of. The other card is Vesuvan Duplomancy. We're only playing two copies of this enchantment and it's the only spell that costs more than two mana in our deck. But for four mana it says whenever you cast a spell that targets only a single artifact or creature you control, create a token that's a copy of that artifact or creature except it's not legendary. So this is a backup win con if Ivy dies or we don't draw one. This card uses the same spells throughout the deck as Ivy, so it's a decent inclusion in this one. The other creatures we're running are Illuminator Virtuosos, two drop one ones with double strike that says whenever it becomes the target of a spell you control, it connives. Clearly a great card in this deck that can win out of nowhere if unblocked. Another conniver is Ledger Shredder, our two drop one three with flying that says whenever a player casts their second spell each turn, it connives. Although this ability doesn't trigger through targeting, it's super good when either us or our opponents want to double spell, and the flying is so important too at the moment. Of course, we're running four Storm Chaser Drakes, the most perfect card for this deck. This unassuming 2-1 flyer for two says whenever it becomes the target of a spell, you draw a card, and this can trigger as many times as you can each turn, so it's really good with some of our spells, our cheap spells as well. Lastly, we have Delver of Secrets, Honestly, this slot could be for any creature, but Delver, when it transforms, is pretty formidable. But if your luck isn't in, it's just a 1-1 that doesn't really do anything. And my luck never seems to be in when I'm casting this card. So we have a plethora of spells that target creatures, and you could literally play any combination of these or any other targeting spells, but these are the ones I've gone with today. We've got Combat Research, a one-cost aura that says whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. It also has a plus one plus one if it's legendary and ward one. Well, this aura will copy onto Ivy if you target a different creature. So it's a great way to get card draw and targeting your Drake can also get a couple of draws from that each turn. We're playing four Homestead Courage, one cost sorceries with flashback that puts a plus one counter on target creature and it gets vigilance until end of turn. We have Shore Ups where a target creature you control gets plus one plus one and hexproof until end of turn and you get to untap it. So this is a great way to surprise block your opponent's attackers. We have Slip Out of the Back, similar spell, but this one puts a plus one counter on target creature and it phases out. Uh, this can be used in both offensive and defensive situations, so don't be afraid to play this on opposing creatures if you can um, swing for lethal. Uh, Tamiyo's Safekeeping, uh, that for one forest gives our permanent, so that's creature or enchantment, hexproof and indestructible until end of turn and gains two life. So another decent card in our deck. Interaction wise, we're playing Fading Hopes, which instantly can be used on our own creatures. And if Duplomancy is around, we get a copy of the creature we bounce to. Uh, we have Mate Disappear and Spell Pierce as counter spells. Finally, we're playing March of Swirling Mist, which is an instant for X and an island. And as an additional cost to cast this spell, you may exile any number of blue cards from your hand. A spell costs two less for each. Two less to cast for each card exiled this way and up to X target creatures phase out. So this is super good if you are able to swing for lethal or in a defensive move, be able to stop your opponents from attacking you for lethal. Like I said, any combination of these cards or other targeted spells will work. I guess some red spells would also be great too if you want to play red, as uh, you'll see because Ivy gets very big when other creatures are targeted with huge pump spells, even our opponents creatures. We have 23 lands today, which is more than enough for us. And as always, feel free to subscribe if you haven't for future videos as we trundle our way through Dominaria United, as new decks are always being found. And it seems that gone are the days of those mono black decks being every game we play. All right, on the play, and let's keep this. Got some decent cards here, so play our Trium and uh, opponent on white green. Do you reckon that will be safe enough to play the Drake? Yeah, let's give it a go. Opponent 
that is hovering over our card here as they play a planes and uh Homestead Courage, our Drake. Let's see what we draw. Another island. And uh, we'll attack for three. And just end our turn. Hold open the counter spell and Fading Hope. Uh, re reinforcements. Meh, that's fine. A couple of 1-1s one on the ground isn't going to hurt. Worst would be a wedding announcement or something. Yeah, well, that can go. Well, uh, yeah, we'll counter that spell. And opponent passes. So we'll Homestead Courage our Drake again. Virtuoso. Tap for four. And I think we will play our Virtuoso. Take a damage to do so. And our turn. So we want a targeted spell like a Shore Up or something. And then we can uh, start getting this Duplomancy to work working. I don't care if the opponent wants to kill our Virtuoso. They go to attacks. They pass a turn. Okay, so I think... So we've got to expect a Wandering Emperor now. So let's go for our Duplomancy. So I'm pretty sure if I Fading Hope one of my creatures, I'll get in a copy of it. So we'll just uh, attack with the... I will attack with both our creatures. So we've gone for the Duplomancy um, pre-combat in case we play. They play the Wedding, the Wandering Emperor. There we go, and we'll just uh, fading hope whatever card they target. And we'll get a copy of that. And put it back into our hand. And combat research is exactly what we need. Deny the opponent life gain. And uh, take out the one ones. So they did exactly what I was expecting to happen. I wonder if the opponent has another Emperor in their hands. I'm guessing if they minus here, then they probably have. But I doubt they're going to pass their turn with four mana open. Prayer of Binding. Okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, so we knew we were going to draw combat research, so we can put that on our Drake here, draw a card, just a land. And uh, what does this say? Wait, it just combat damage to a player. Uh, let's just kill the Wandering Emperor. And throw down both our creatures here. Play our land and say go. Captain's call. Three one ones. Okay, so we'll attack with the flyers. And we draw Ledger Shredder. Well, we'll play that. Play a land, say go. We're getting there, slowly. Uh, 
uh, join the dance. All right, so creating lots of one ones, but luckily for us, they're ground creatures. And yeah, another set of one ones. Um, March. Yeah, we'll just uh, connive that away. Thank you for the counter. And home assist courage is exactly what we're looking for here. We'll put that on our Drake. And then we get to play again on our other Drake and connive. So much land. There we go. And attack for nine. Okay, opponent down to two. Draw a card, and it's an Ivy, which we will play. And play a, another land. And say go. Uh, Captain's Call, cool. okay. A load more 1-1s. One and opponent scoops it up. Too much value in the end. Um, a couple of wedding announcements for our opponent there, and that would have been a different story, so... All right, we get to go first with a good hand. So let's keep this one. Let's get down this uh, Yevamaya Coast. Hold open Spell Pierce. Probably Kamano is the only turn one card we'll want to Spell Pierce. All right, opponent with a Swamp. No point playing anything now, even though we, well, we can't anyway, so. No white mana. Underdog. And that's fine. So we'll play our Virtuoso here and hold open a slip out the back. Opponent with a Death Cup Glade and a Liliana, okay. I guess we could have spell pierced that, but it's more fun this way. Knive and let's knive away our other virtuoso. Okay, opponent decides to not do anything else. So we're fading hope this underdog. And then we'll just uh, homestead courage the virtuoso, I guess. Don't really care about Liliana at this this second. Hmm. Nah. Okay, land. So this is a lot of damage. I'm going to go straight for the opponent, I think. Play our land here and hold open Spell Pierce. Alright, so four mana for our opponent. Terra Sunder, and we can spell pierce that. And combat research. Alright, so can we win this turn? I think we probably can. Yeah. Definitely win this turn. And uh, opponent scoops it up before we uh, we kill them with our Virtuoso. So not attacking Liliana last turn, probably won us the game then. And uh, Terra Sunder, although it's a good card, it does cost four mana to kill a creature. So didn't work out well for our opponent there. Okay, on the play uh, with an okay hand. Drake's a nice card to have, but we get to play out our tap land here. So yeah, next turn, we're just going to play our Drake, whatever. Ooh, Ivy. No green mana, though. 
So being on the play is a big advantage with this deck. Really want to hit our third land drop. Really want it to be a green mana. In fact, a green mana is a pretty good draw if we can find one. Untapped green, please. Just like the opponent played. So, Fangus Jajeki for opponent. Hey, there it is. You have to be specific with when you are asking for things on uh, Arena. So, yeah, we get to play our Spell Thief here. And uh, I'm actually going to just attack with the Drake and hold open Shore up. Opponent finds another forest. And wedding announcement. Seems good. Probably am going to play the shore up here on the Drake. To uh, draw a card. Okay, opponent. Yeah, no blocks. And wedding announcement, and yeah, we're just going to draw a card here. Ah, Duplomancy is a fun card. Alright, so definitely putting our combat research on our Drake. Grab a copy for our Ivy. Attack with both. Draw a couple of cards. And we will play our island here, I think. And uh, pass our turn. And generous visitor for our opponent. Opponent attacks for two. Well, we will take that. They draw a card. And we will just pass the turn. Forest is fun. We'll get down our Duplomancy here. And uh, tap for five. Draw a card. Uh, yeah, just hold open our mana. Hold open the safekeeping here. Opponent down to eight. And a naturalist. So having flying creatures really help in here. Another naturalist, sure. Okay, attack with a 3-3. Three, that three. one one, one one. I will accept that. Down to 12. Draw a card. Lots of things going on here. Uh, another Ivy's fun. And a Homestead Courage. Okay. So we get to play a Homestead Courage on a Drake. Create another Drake. Copy that spell onto the IV. Another planes there. Get to do the same thing. So this gives us lethal in the air. And we will definitely copy that. And attack down our opponent. Nice. And the fairies come through. Against the Lesnia enchantments. On to the next one.
Okay, on the draw, with a different hand to our last game, so we'll keep this. Um, okay, mate disappears, hoping for an untapped land there. We'll play our tap land here, so no green spells in our hand. As the opponent plays a lone speaker, we grab an island, sure. And uh, yeah, it's going to play a couple of Delvers here. Sometimes these things can win on their own, so let's hope that this is the case in this game. All right, opponent on blue green. Yep, and the Delvers do it again. Always the same with those cards. Maybe they should have seen if we uh, flipped them first, because I'm normally super unlucky with that, but we'll move on to the next one. All right, on the draw. With a hand, I can get behind this. I can get behind this. So we have some uh, interaction whilst we wait for our ledger shredder to come down. Got a spell pierce and a fading hope. His opponent on is it, and a stowaway. Uh, let's just fading hope that. Uh, combat research. That's a decent card for the future. Play out our planes, I reckon. And uh, yeah, I'm not playing the Ledger Shredder into this opponent's deck without a Spell Pierce. Okay, so the Stowaway comes down, nighttime, and we get to play our Ledger Shredder here. Pass our turn. So this one little spell piece is going to try and keep keep our Ledger Shredder alive. Uh, you should probably attack first before you play your land. Infantry. And if they're looking to cast a spell now, I hope they do. Yep. Can't be blocked. <laughs> Alright, so if they play another spell, it goes back to daytime. Okay. Okay, another infantry. Yeah, we get to do our thing as well. I think we'll just uh, get rid of another Ledger Shredder there. So we draw a Delver, green mana for us. That's probably throwing the opponent a little bit there. All right, so. Let's target our Shredder, copy it onto our Ivy. Fading Hope's fantastic. So in this case, I think we will actually get rid of our Delver. Now I could also combat research the Shredder here, but I definitely want to hold open the uh, interaction instead. Attack for four has Vigilance. So fingers crossed we get round to next turn with our creatures on the battlefield still. Uh, ancestral Anger, take action, draw a card, thank you. Okay, they go to attacks. Uh, yeah, no blocks. What was that? Why can't I see the card? Oh, there you go. Right clicking it. Um, okay, well, we'll take that as well. I guess I could have blocked with the Ivy. This would have uh, really pumped our creature here. We get to connive. 
and I think we will get rid of the other Ivy. So that's 10, 11, 12 damage coming through. Okay. We're going to be um, bouncing one of these creatures to our opponent's hand, so uh, decline that. And a Virtuoso. Yeah, I think we want some targeted spells now. We go down to eight. So weird interactions there. The opponent was um, obviously targeting their creatures, but it was also increasing our IV. Unfortunately, I think that was just till end of turn. Yeah. So we get to two now. Play... Homestead Courage on our Shredder. So that's 10 damage. We get to play our Combat Research on our Shredder 2. And we will connive away that. So that's 12 damage. I guess we attack. They both have Vigilance and we can hold open Spell Pierce. And make disappear is beautiful. So as long as we don't die here and keep one of these creatures on the battlefield. So an infantry. Sure. Opponent with four mana. Okay, well, I'm definitely blocking now. Yeah, I mean, we're not going to take the risk that we took last turn. Throwing our Ledger Shredder in front of the uh, infantry. And don't forget, we have Make Disappear in our hand as well anyway. Antagonize. Lightning strike. I have no idea what's going on at the moment. So we're going to resolve that. I'm going to decline that. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, make disappear that. What is this targeting? Really awkward here. Uh, discard a planes, I guess. Actually, let's discard the uh, spell pierce. Resolve, resolve. And uh, you know what? Yeah, so a lot going on there. But it transpires that we keep two creatures alive and we get to attack down our opponent. I didn't like the way that I couldn't see what was being targeted. I was worried that I'd hit the resolve button that we were going to take um, like lightning strike damage and stuff. But yeah, we got, got there in the end. Nice one. All right, on the play. And all right, we're going to keep this hand and we are going to be aggressive and play this Delver on turn one. Okay, opponent with a red blue land and they've got their own Delver. We find a combat research. So I'm going to be.
targeting my Delver with combat research and attacking our opponent. They take it. We draw a card. Okay, so we will now play our tap land. Say go. Ha, <laughs> play with fire, okay. Okay, so our Delver shows us a island on the top. And I'm not sure why they didn't play the play with fire there. As we are going to Yeah, let's not get greedy. Let's just attack with the one one. Draw a card, Virtuoso. So as much as I want the the Delver to stick around, I'm not sure if I play the Virtuoso, they can easily just uh, play with fire our 1-1 one -one here. And I feel like this could see us to victory if we're lucky. Definitely going to put this back in their hand though. Okay, sure up. Um, sure, they can have that. We'll hold open mate disappear in case something worse comes along. And it gets in there with a 4-3. March. Okay, well, we can reveal that one definitely. And now we get to play our planes. I think we'll put the combat research again on the aberration here. Draw a couple of cards. I wonder if the opponent's got um, counter magic. Okay, right, they take it. Draw two cards there. Okay. Uh, virtuoso and land. So let's not get crazy here. Let's just pass our turn. And an infantry. That's fine. Take three. We draw planes. So we'll attack here with a 3 2. Haven't really drawn much, uh, anything exciting in this so far. So we're going to get another two draw steps here. Wait, two draws here. Dupermancy is interesting. And there's a courage. So. Definitely want to get down a land here. Really want to play this Duplomancy, but we need to hold open the counter spell. And we can uh, march as well, so let's just say go. And we can bottom a land. Opponent goes to attack for four. Guess we just take four. See what they want to do. They want to play shore up. Um, so if we march here, 
for two and just uh Yeah, we can just uh, phase those, their creatures out, hold open, make disappear. I'm expecting this play with fire. There we go. Oh, it's a shore up. Not much we can do about that. Okay, play with fire to our face. We'll take that. And shore up. Okay, down to three. Spell pierce. All right, a little bit too late. So if we play duplomancy here, Needs to be very careful of how we tap our mana. So let's tap this for colorless. Tap this for blue, blue, and blue. Play Duplomancy. We can encourage our aberration. And we can do it again. Now attack for five. And fingers crossed, we get to survive to our next turn. Consider for our opponent. And lightning strike to our face. Alright, well that was unfortunate. Um, they must have just topped out that otherwise they would have done it themselves. But not a problem. I saw how Duplomancy Air can get us out of a hole. I don't think there was any other thing we could do in that. Okay, on the play. With a hand I want to keep. Need a green mana though. Virtuoso is pretty nice, so we'll get that down. And there's our green mana, so definitely play that now. And uh, we're going to... What do I want to discard here? Probably the other Courage. And... Attack for four. Tap for six, sorry. Um, here, I think we'll play another creature. As the chances of one of these surviving until next turn are pretty good. Ivy. Let's attempt to play Ivy. Okay. Um... Sure. And yeah, let's just uh, Homestead Courage our Virtuoso, and that would have been a lot of damage that turn. So, uh, nice quick victory there. Okay, so that was fun. It's a really fun deck to play, and I'm pretty sure similar iterations of this deck will continue over the next few sets whilst Ivy and the Drake exist, because targetable spells are always released. Uh, the deck does take until turn three or so to get going, but if you're still in the game at that point, I think it's pretty strong, especially against the uh, not-so-meta decks we come across. But as always, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't. Uh, thank you for sticking around, and I'll uh, see you again next time.